हाय एवरीवन जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता दी लेट्स टॉक अबाउट समुद्रा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैरिटाइम स्टडीज इफ यू आर अ क्लास ट्वेल्थ स्टूडेंट हु वांट्स टू जॉइन मर्चेंट इवन लुकिंग फॉर ऑप्शन दिस कैन आल्सो बी एन ऑप्शन लेट्स जस्ट टॉक अबाउट इट कोर्स आफ्टर ऑफर्ड आफ्टर ट्वेल्थ डी एंड बी टेक इंजीनियरिंग कंपनी गिविंग स्पॉन्सरशिप इज एग्जीक्यूटिव शिप मैनेजमेंट कॉपेड एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया क्लास ट्वेल्थ में रिजल्ट ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ बोर्ड एग्जाम शुड भी ऑप्टेंड एट फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट एंड फ्रॉम अ रेगुलर बोर्ड ऑनली एन आई ओ एस एंड इम्प्रूवमेंट स्टूडेंट्स कैन नॉट अप्लाई फर्स्ट एंड मीन्स यू कैन नॉट फेल ओनली दो स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव अपियर फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्थ बोर्ड एग्जाम फ्रॉम अ बोर्ड दैट इज अप्रूव बाई मिनिस्टर ऑफ आर चार डी गवर्मेंट ऑफ इंडिया एलिजिबल द फॉलोइंग मार्क्स मार्क्स ऑप्टेन मिनिमम एग्रीगेट परसेंटेज सिक्सटी परसेंट मिनिमम पी सी एम परसेंटेज सिक्सटी परसेंट मिनिमम स्कोर एंड फिजिक्स एंड मैथ्स इंडिविजुअली शुड भी फिफ्टी परसेंट मिनिमम एग्रीगेट फॉर फिजिक्स एंड मैथ शुड भी सिक्सटी परसेंट अलॉट ऑफ ऑप्शन ओवर है फॉर आंध्र प्रदेश एंड केरला स्टेट बोर्ड इलेवंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ एग्रीगेट मार्क्स विल बी कंसिडर्ड फॉर द अब मैंशन क्राइटेरिया कॉपेड सो आफ्टर दैट इफ यू आर नॉट क्लास ट्वेल्थ स्टूडेंट एंड यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर से जॉइन समुद्रा यू हैव डन बी एस सी then bsc in physics or maths or chemistry or electronics but when if you are doing bsc in electronics with the physics physics should be an individual subject in one of the years that is important and an average of not less than 55% marks in final year and 60% marks overall so bsc mein all three years aggregate should be 60% marks overall and then the last year should not be less than 55% marks candidate should also secure minimum 55% marks in pcm in class 12 तो so, भैया क्लैरिटी दी हुई है बी करनी है यू हैव डन क्लास ट्वेल्थ मिनिमम पीसीएम शुड बी इन क्लास ट्वेल्थ शुड बी मोर देन 55 परसेंट एंड देन आफ्टर दैट बी एस इन वन ऑफ दीज सब्जेक्ट्स फाइनल ईयर 55 परसेंट एंड शुड बी 60 परसेंट एग्रीगेट ओवरऑल क्लियर सपोज यू वांट टू गो फॉर इफ यू हैव डन बी एंड यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर समुद्रा सो देन बी बी टेक फ्रॉम कॉलेज रिकोगनाइज बाई ए आई सी टी विद एन एवरेज ऑफ नॉट लेस दैन फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ एग्रीगेट इन दी फाइनल ईयर फाइनल ईयर परसेंटेज शुड नॉट बी लेस दैन फिफ्टी In English, you should be one of the subject with minimum of fifty percent in tenth or twelfth. Got it? Should not be less than fifty percent. Or even in case of you have got this degree over here or BSc, if you have done BSc. So any of these degrees, or if you have done just twelfth, then in tenth or twelfth. Got it? This is the eligibility criteria for DNS at Samudra Institute of Maritime Studies. So again, age criteria is your age should not be less than seventeen years. As on the date of commencement of course so upper age limit is 20 years for 10 plus 2 candidates 22 years for bsc candidates 25 years for be btech candidates so date of commencement of course say so this is 2023 so on 1st august 2023 your age should not be less than 17 years or it should not be more than 20 or 22 or 25 years depending on these situations or these qualifications again english i have already talked about then comes imct Candidate must pass IMU CET, and they should have their rank certificate. Seats vary from 80 to 120. Physical and medical standard. DG shipping approved doctors will get a medical. Then eyesight no color blindness. Both eyes should be six by six. In worst case, one eye can be six by six, another eye can be six by nine. Copied. Next, Samudra Institute of Maritime Studies fees for DNS is seven lakh seventy one thousand. Once again, if you want to know how good is Samudra, how much is the waiting period? Go to our college portal. Watch the video till the end, and you'll get an idea, and you'll get all the information out there. Let's move ahead. Eligibility criteria for B Tech educational qualification again: open board students or improvement students not allowed as per written that, and from a regular board only. Then again, uh, minimum percentage sixty percent, minimum PCM percent sixty percent, minimum score in physics and maths individually fifty percent, minimum aggregate for physics and maths should be sixty percent. For Andhra Pradesh and Kerala state boards, 11th and 12th aggregate, दोनों का percentage मिला के will be considered for the above mentioned criteria. So it is बिल्कुल similar to that of the DNS criteria. Again, English is बिल्कुल similar to that of the DNS criteria. Candidates who have appeared for class 12 examinations and the results are yet to be declared are also eligible to appear. You can write appearing over there. But yes, once again, once your 12th board result come and if you do not fulfill this criteria, you will not be selected. You should know that. Move ahead. Then eligibility criteria for B Tech again not less than seventeen years as on the date of commencement of course as I told earlier first August twenty twenty three is for this twenty twenty three June batch cop it and it should be upper age limit is twenty years for ten plus two candidates for B Tech Marine Engineering cop it guys 
IMCT, you have to qualify seats only 40 seats, and that is why I guess BTEC ke under the waiting period is less as compared to DNS. This is my personal opinion, but again, don't take my opinions at all. Go for the college portal and see what the students of uh, DNS from Samudra or BTEC are saying. Again, physical and medical standards, uh, medical approved by DC doctor, eyesight. Both case can be 6 by 12 and worst case it can be 6 by 9 in one eye and 6 by 18 in other eye. No color blindness at all. Copied. Again, fees of Samudra Institute of Maritime Studies of BTEC Marine Engineering is 18 lakh 16,000. 18 lakh 16,000. Education loan you You need to know that. How to apply? Go to www.samudra.com. Click on the course application. Select pre C courses. Select your course and fill out the form accordingly. That is how you do it. And with this, all I can say is watch the college portal video which is coming ahead where you'll get to know what are good things about Samudra National Maritime Studies and what are the things which should be concerned about Samudra National Maritime Studies. So there has been time where students keep asking me, sir, should I join this college? How much is the placement criteria? How much is the placement criteria? How much is the waiting period? And these things keep changing. So I thought what to do and that is where the idea of starting something like Google reviews on our own website Merchant Navy Decoded came into my mind and that is how on my website called MerchantNavyDecoded.com I started a thing called College Portal so like when you have to book a uh, when you have to book a hotel you go for Google reviews now if you want to go for uh, college you can see what are the reviews how is the standard so let us see how you have, you can do so you click on the college portal now suppose you are a GME aspirant so you will click over here you are a ETU aspirant you will click over here you are a IMVCT or DNS aspirant you will click over here you are a GP rating aspirant it will come over here you are an aspirant for BTEC marine engineering then also there will be an option, option over here and for any other course that comes with the time it will be there so right now, say you come to this course and you are interested in say IMUCT and DNS and you want to know about Anglo, right? So what you do is you click over on IMUCT and DNS Anglo and then suddenly you will see the highly recommended colleges from Merchant Navy decoded over here for DNS. So for highly recommended, you will see Anglo station maybe over here or it will be in the other college section. It depends whether AMA is good or not, but we will recommend AMA for sure as of now. Then you will click over here on AMA. So when you will click, you will see overview section. Then you can click, you can see all about overview. Then you can see the eligibility criteria. Then the fee structure, registration process, syllabus kaisa hai. How is the placement record over here? Copy it in AMA. Everything you will come to know. Copy it. Then this is the say, you, you click on the placement scenario. You get to see the placement scenario of AMA over here. But the most important thing is how students perceive this college those who have studied over here so now you can come over and see the rating how good is anglo in case of placement how good is am am in case of waiting period how good is training and well-being of am over here when you watch these ratings over here that is where you learn that is where you understand what are the right questions you need to ask and should you get into emma or you should avoid getting into emma so this is one thing apart from that it is a request if you know someone who has passed out from MMA for a particular course, tell them by whatever your review is, just go and share on this college portal. And yes, don't be scared. If you have something bad to share about any college, any course, just do that and post that review anonymously over here. Just posting it as no. Okay, don't show my name. Post reviews anonymously, yes. And your name will not come over. And that is how this college portal is not going to just help you but every other person who is joining Merchant Navy. Thank you very much. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Mata.